if you really want to be great, you have to study your opponent. Like, there's no way that you can be great if you don't study. I mean, it's just like school. If you don't study for a test, how can you expect to make A's and B's when you're not really, you know, taking in the information that's going to be on the test? They're giving you, by you watching tape, they're giving you the information. They're giving you the tendency. Without God, I wouldn't even be in this situation. So every day I, every day I come out there and coach, I'm, I'm laced up. I got cleats on. Like, I don't play around. Like, I tell all my guys, one thing that we can't get back in this lifetime is time. So if you come out here, never, never waste your time. There's no point in saying you just can't, you came to training today just to say you came. Like, no, challenge yourself, you know, get better. We, the greatness is the standard. So we, you know, we, we, we're shooting to be great. Went to North Cobb High School up in Kennesaw, Georgia. And, uh, man, I had a great senior year. We, uh, we was the number one team in the state that year. We was ranked top 25 in the country. And, uh, I had a great season, man. I prepared and everything worked out for me, man. I end up, uh, I end up, you know, getting defensive back of the year of my county of Cobb County. Um, end up signing a full ride scholarship to Georgia Southern University. Um, went to Georgia Southern, played there my freshman year. Uh, you know, things, you know how things are, man. Sometimes God just has different things planned for your life. So it, it, it didn't fully work out at Georgia Southern. When it came time to me to look for a new school, I end up, you know, going with Carson Newman. And man, that was a blessing, man. This is the crazy part about my story. So when I left Georgia Southern, I was supposed to be granted uh, that year of eligibility because I only played in two games my freshman year. So NCAA told me, yeah, when you transfer, you'll have four years of eligibility. So I'm going into I'm going into my senior year at Carson Newman. I'm talking about we geared up. Uh, you know, my coach is telling me I probably uh, possibly could be a preseason All-American uh, leading into the year. And then, man, we're in spring ball. And the NCAA compliance guy comes out there and tells me, you know, hey, man, the, uh, I just got a call from the NCAA. Uh, you know, they're saying your, your senior year eligibility is going to be denied because they're going to count that year that you was at Georgia Southern. So I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, wow, I can't believe this. Because you got to think, man, coming from a small school, you need you need every year. You can't <laughs> you can't afford to to not have that senior year. Because you got to think, pro day and just the whole buildup of having that senior season. So we tried to appeal my case three times in a row <clears throat> to, uh, you know, try to win it over. We lost. So I told myself, I was like, you know, I always told myself that I was going to play professional ball some way. And I and I felt in my I felt just some weird like just some weird something just told me that I was gonna end up being in this position today because my dad had always told me he's like man you know so much about the game one day you know you got to give back to to the youth and and just teach people how to play you know I started going boom, going to AFL workouts going to AFL workouts fast forward man I done went to nine workouts Grant that's a hundred dollars a workout now. I done went to nine workouts, and that ain't even including travel costs. Cause these workouts wasn't in Georgia. I went to Baltimore. I went to Texas. I went to Tampa, Florida. I went to, you know, I'm going. I went to Philadelphia, just trying all the teams. Cause I told myself I was like, I refuse to tell a kid one day to give it everything he got when I didn't give it everything I had. So fast forward, man, I end up going to my tenth workout. I got invited to a private workout with the Cleveland Gladiators of the AFL. And uh, the coach hit me up. He said, look, man, I got a private workout in Birmingham, Alabama. Uh, I only got one contract, and it's going to be 80 of y'all here trying out. I said, cool, I already know it's mine. Just like that, told the coach straight up, I know that contract mine. I'm cool, I'll be there. So, boom, I show up, I kill it. I end up getting signed, man. I end up signing with the Cleveland Gladiators. Uh, played a few years uh, in the AFL. And I started working, man. AFL was cool. Ended up, I had, I had a child, I had a little daughter. And I'm married with two kids, man. So I had a daughter. I had my first daughter, and I thought to myself, I'm like, man, you know what? I think I need to be a little more responsible. Like the AFL is fun. I had a couple injuries too. I had a little knee injury, but wasn't, you know, wasn't, you know, something that was gonna kill me. But I just started thinking, like, man, I probably need to start, you know, kind of prioritizing myself. I felt like I was being so I got a job. I started. My dad worked with Coca. He got me on with Coca Cola. I worked there for two years, and then I worked at. Uh, got a promotion. Ended up going to Pepsi for about a year. I had my wife start posting. Started recording me trains. I was like, we should probably capture some of these moments. 
she started recording me training my cousin bro. and man as soon as i started uploading videos guys just started hitting me up boom 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 in, in my inbox i'm like whoa you know what I'm saying? I wasn't really expecting this because, you know, when you first start, you don't expect to get the best athletes. And when that Christmas break came, man, that's when it went crazy. Like, it went nuts. Like, I had so many college Division One guys out there, you know, training. And I was just like, wow, this is, I guess this is just for me because I never, like, my the way I train, bro, I never reach out to people. Like, I just, like, I want to go so hard and put out, you know the best content and, and just show that i really love truly love and study this game to where it's gonna the people that really love it and want to be great they gonna contact me i'm not gonna have to contact them so man moving forward i end up getting all kind of division one guys bro like i, I know y'all see my page now but you know i work with a lot of those guys for a while now uh going on two two years now so you know we put in a lot of work we get a lot of results so just to keep it brief man uh lsu db coach contacted me he wants me to come down to lsu this offseason and work with their dbs uh oklahoma, university of oklahoma was contacting me uh university of clemson contacted me uh university of pittsburgh list goes on man like they, they all those coaches they see what's going on and they feel like i'm teaching the game just like they teach the game about i, I skipped over this part but the best thing about my situation I went into my senior year with no offers, nowhere to go. And I finished my senior year with about nine or 10 different places, uh, division one places to go to school. So I love that about my story. Cause when I work with these kids, the ones that feel like they have no hope, like my cousin, I could tell them, look, bro, I did it. If I could do it, you can do it. Ain't no way, I, I ain't superhuman. You know, I'm just like the next man. I just locked in, I grinded. I did everything possible uh, to prepare myself for my senior year and you know god ended up blessing me and i ended up you know getting that full rise <laughs> all right you got me Three in a row. Two yeah. in a, we got two in a row oh oh shit oh shit stop playing come on Sid. go oh, okay <laughs> damn he took his ass in motion i got that that's what they start doing to me, though. Nah, I know. They ain't gonna let you yeah. 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 Yeah.